Hi, my name is Thijs and welcome to Beerwolf Brew Talk. I'm here today at a very special Belgian family brewer uh, in the town of Melle, close to Ghent. Um, there's been brewing activity here since 1654, so it's a very old brewing site. Um, and yeah, if you haven't guessed from the Pink Elephants already, this is where they brew the world famous Delirium Tremens. We're going to have a look at the old brewery, we're going to have a look at the new brewery, and we're going to meet the brewmaster and maybe have a sneaky taste. So uh, let's go. Historians found traces of brewing activity at the Appelhoek in Melle going back all the way to 1654. In 1904, Leon Huygen started his Huygen brewery here, turning it into a proper family business. These days, the fourth generation of the family runs the brewery. So this is the old brew house. They don't use it anymore, but it was in use until 2012. And that's when they opened up a brand new and much more modern and efficient brew house right next door. This is the new 350,000 hectoliter brewing installation. It was built in 2012 and it uses up to 50% less electricity than the old brewing installation. So it allows them to brew a lot more efficiently, but also a lot more beer. These days, Delirium Tremens is their most popular beer. Um, it's available all over the world, and that means you need a lot of crates. I'm here with Joris. Uh, Joris, what can you tell me about yourself? I've been working at Heuge Brewery for 17 years and I'm, uh, I have to make sure that the, the quality is okay and that there's enough beer. You're the head brewer. I'm a head brewer. Perfect. So um, we have uh, Delirium Tremens and Delirium Argentum on the shelf. This is the Delirium Tremens. Um, what can you tell me about this beer? It's a full malt beer, so the, the smell is very much uh, sweet from the maltiness. We have the typical spiciness of the Belgian yeast and we use some coriander to enlighten the body a little. So the, the coriander gives a citrusy, fresh accent in, mm -hmm. in the taste. That's right. Quite strong in alcohol as well. 8.5, that's uh, not little, but... Don't yeah. have too many. No. <laughs> <laughs> what would you um, pair this with? For this beer, I think it's uh, old man's friend, how you say it in Dutch, so you can pair it with anything. Yep. But I think uh, particularly with f uh, fish. Fish? Because yeah. uh, the spiciness uh, at the mixes well with, with white fish, uh, according to me. But Sounds great. Okay. Well, we've had the Delirium Tremens for a while on the sub, uh, but this is a completely different beer. What can you tell me about this? It's uh, Delirium Argentum. Uh, it's a beer we've been making since 2014. We made it for the 25th anniversary of Delirium Tremens. And mm -hmm. it's what, uh, it's called a Belgian style IPA. So it has a nice bitterness of 550 IBUs. We use six, six different hops in there. Uh, and some, most of them are USA hops, like Amarillo and Chinook, which give the nice uh, citrusy pine aroma. It's a different color as well. Yeah, it's copper, uh, copper um, colored because we use some roasted malt to have this nice balance between roasted malt and uh, the hoppiness. Mm. It's very good. There's a lot more bitter, yeah. a lot less of the sweetness. So the aim was to have a refreshing yet bitter beer uh, mm -hmm. in the delirium uh, range. So Any food pairing tips for this one? I'd go for a combination with sweet because you have the bitter dry beer and then some sweets. Uh, instead of coffee, have an argentum with your, uh, with your pie car or caramel uh, biscuit or pie, whatever. Nice. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So that is the story of Delirium. It was a lot of fun being in this classical brewery in the middle of classic beer country, Belgium. Um, so we hope you enjoyed it as well. Be sure to try Delirium on the sub because it's great. Um, and like and subscribe for more beery content. Oh, and let us know in the comments which brewery you'd like to see in the next brew talk. Cheers.